probably I think it only happened one time in baseball. Right. A bird flew right across in between the pitcher and the batter and just happened to be at the same time yes. the ball hit the bird it, and it disintegrated. Just yes. feathers went everywhere. Yes. Hey everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel for our next Meet the Minister Monday. And today we get to meet a great guy, Phil Jones. Kids, families, welcome Phil Jones. You, All right, thank yes, you. thank you for being here, brother. You. Like your shirt, by the way. Uh, thank you, yeah. and yours too. Yeah, thank yes. you. Phil and I yeah. kind of met earlier about this, so we have a great idea for you to come up. Before we get to that, though, we want to get to know a little about more about you, Phil Jones, just who you are, your family, everything, your role here in the ministry. So to help these kids know a little bit more about you, you know, when they run into you at the church or they see you walk in the hallway and stuff like that, and they say, hey, I met that guy on the YouTube page. Nice to meet you. Will you please tell them, like, who Phil Jones is, your family, all that sort of stuff? I would be glad to, Ryan. Yes, sir. Well, I grew up in Indiana, Northwest Indiana, and uh, then I uh, moved uh, uh, to Tennessee to go to school. There I met my future wife, uh, Karen, and we married right after college before going to seminary. Um, we've been married, it'll be 45 years this summer. All right. In July. <laughs> Yes. yes, sir. July the 29th, mm. we got married 1978. Mm. And so it'll be 45 coming up. Incredible. So we're, we're really excited about that. Yes, sir. Um, we uh, have three children. Yes, sir. Jeremy's our oldest. Uh, he lives in Wetumpka. He's married to Sherry. And they have uh, five children, Noah, Micah, Toby, Lucas, and Molly. All right. And then our next is uh, a daughter, Melissa. She's married to David and they have two boys. They live in Georgia, Carrollton, Georgia, uh, Asher and Isaac. And then Kayla is our youngest and she lives in Hansville. Uh, she's married to Nick. And they recently this year adopted a little girl by the name of Ava, That's right. sweet Ava. And she's number eight of grandchildren. So three right. children three uh, sons and daughters in love, we call them, and our eight grandchildren. So that's the fam. That's the fam. Yeah. That's right. That's a great family. Met his son before. We did a little bit of seminary many yes. years ago yes. and everything. And sometimes we cross paths when we're going out on October to get some candy from door to door and everything and happen to yes. come, come by to our house. neighborhood. Yes, that's right. Yes, hood. That's yeah. right, the hood. <laughs> so we appreciate you and your family and Karen. That's awesome for you guys. 45 years. Yeah. I'm a Tennessee guy also, was yeah. born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, okay. so didn't go to school in Tennessee, but I, actually I did. You did? I went to preschool oh, wow. in Tennessee. So. Yeah. Did you get to wear the white cap and gown? I actually did. I did. Yeah. I did. I wore the cap and gown in wow. Tennessee when I graduated yeah. kindergarten. Major and then, marker in your And then life. moved over here in Birmingham, did yeah. the rest of my schooling out here. Wow. So that's right. So a couple Tennessee boys, but I was I was actually born in, in Tennessee. As okay. you said, you were born in Indiana. Indiana. So we are not yeah. officially Alabama guys. No, we're no, not. We're, we're transplants. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We're yes, sitting sir. here as missionaries by God. We are. That's right. Yes, true. I, that might be true for you. I don't know about me though, brother. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but we're honored for you. And you're like you said, you love your family and all the grandkids and everything. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, for you and Karen to celebrate that this July, yes. uh, we appreciate y'all's example and y'all's leadership you. and what she does also in sure. the schools and everything sure. involved. In yeah, that. she so. retired two years ago. She's yes, loving sir. it. That's right. My I'm mom. Jealous. My mom retired a couple yeah. years ago too from the yeah. from the school system. So. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, awesome. All right, kids. So if you remember all that and you see Phil, talk to him, ask him that, that's shake right. his hand, say, hey, great to meet you. And man, eight green kids. That's awesome. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now we know a little bit about you. Okay. So now when they see you at the church, they might be wondering, hey, Dr. Phil, by the way, this is a doctor right here. That's right. <laughs> the real Dr. Phil. That's right. The other guy's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> he is. That's right. That's right. The real Dr. Phil right here. So will you tell the kids and the families a little bit, what is your role here on the staff? What is your your ministry opportunity that you get to present to the staff and to the community okay the well, church. be glad to uh, my official title is minister of pastoral care I've been on staff here be 19 years uh, in May and uh, in that capacity I, I do several different things uh, I do counseling I help folks with uh, benevolence which is helping them with uh, physical needs uh, a rent, a utilities, things like that. Just help them make some payments because they're struggling. Uh, we help with food. We have a food pantry. You've probably donated to that. 
but we have the food pantry. I oversee that. We also have a prayer ministry and I oversee that. I used to do prison and some other things, but Brother Roy McNeil uh, is doing those things now. So it's, um, I, my ministry is just to meet needs, to love people, to be the hands and feet of Jesus and just help people and meet their needs. So we appreciate that, brother. That is awesome what you do for not only here at the church, but also throughout the community, like you said, just being the hands and feet for Jesus. And kids, you might be wondering how we can do that. And you can see that there's many ways you can do that, providing food yes. for families in need or just praying for someone. Absolutely. These are all opportunities for you kids to just do the same thing for you or your family to be the hands and feet yes. of Jesus. But we appreciate you, yes. Dr. Phil, being the hands and feet of Jesus here Thank at GBC. You. And I'm I know honored to do it. Yes, yes. sir. And we are, we are honored to not only see you do it, but walk with you through that and pray with you in your ministry. So thank you for what you do, brother. Thank you. We thank appreciate you. appreciate get the honor of being the body of Christ with you right here. Not I'm just sure. in this church, but in this community. Amen. So, Amen. And you did mention prayer. And yes. uh, one of the reasons we wanted to do this video is there's a special national event coming yes. up. Um, we'll release this video the Monday before yes. uh, this Thursday is the National Day of Prayer. And I know yes. that's a big part of your ministry. And Absolutely. some of these kids or these families might not know uh, about National Day of Prayer, how they can get involved or things they can okay. do. So yeah. do you mind kind of sharing with them Be about, glad to. Absolutely about uh, National Day of Prayer. The National Day of Prayer has been around for quite a few years now, instituted by the, the president yes, uh, years ago, and uh, seeing that our country needs prayer. Yes, and right. uh, so uh, they've designated the uh, first Thursday of every May. This year it's going to be May the 4th. And they just ask people just to focus on prayer, especially for our nation, our nation, our country, the United States of America really needs prayer today. So it's now more than ever that we need to pray. So what we will do here is uh, we're gonna invite people to come. They can come at six o'clock in the morning and it will be in here. They can gather right in here. We'll have brochures that has different prayer needs on it. Uh, if you'd like one, we could, you could say, hey, I, I want a brochure. We can get those to you and pass those out. Or if you are savvy with the computer, you can go to our website yes, and go to the prayer tab and it will be on there. But it gives you specific ways to pray for our country, okay? So you can come, uh, we'll have adults that will come in here at six o'clock, I'll be in here. Uh, and uh, they, you can sit, you can come to the altar and uh, we'll have a time of prayer throughout the day and then it will conclude at six o'clock that night. So it's just a, one day, should we pray every day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do we pray? Yes. But this is the one day when our entire country, the those that believe in God, those that have put their faith in Jesus, those are, are following Jesus every day. It's, it's a, a powerful day when we all focus on our country and pray for God to move in the United States of America. That's right. And some of these kids might help them think of it kind of like see at the pole for some right. of their Absolutely. elementary schools or families yes. they go and do that it's a time yes. for schools they'll come and pray for their schools yes. but this is an opportunity for us right. like you said as followers of God who are ready to come together and pray yes. for this nation yes. so thank you for sharing the time sure. with them you know they can come here right before school if they yeah, like they or, could. and come yeah. after school and, right. and I like what you said because the neat thing that, that Noe and I could do is along with this video we could take that link or that um, connection to that a brochure and yeah. put it with this video so people yeah, can click great. on it. That'd be great. I mean, no, he's a great guy. He can just throw it there on the Man, bottom of the screen. He's the bomb. As yeah. you were talking, he is. He's yeah. the bomb.com. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. right. Well, this is an incredible opportunity, Phil, and thank you for sharing that with the families and the kids that not only do they have to come to the altar, but they could do it right at home. They could do it at home or they could do it in their classroom. You can pray. Nobody can stop you from praying. That's right. You can pray anywhere. You can be in your classroom, your eyes wide open. You are listening to your teacher, okay? <laughs> That's right. But you can pray and you can ask God to do things in your life, do things in your classroom, do things in your school, right. and do things in our nation yep. that will bring honor and glory to God. Absolutely. You can do that anywhere. You can. So thank you for sharing that with sure. me. I think it's important for them to hear that. Well, listen, this has been an incredible time getting to not only know more about you, but your the, the ministry that God has called you to and the ministry opportunity we have on National Day of Prayer. And again, thank you for letting us record in here, sure. letting them see the space Absolutely. and know where they can yeah. come and pray and everything. Right. 
But um, Phil and I are great, great friends and great ministry partners here. And he was giving me a hard time a couple weeks ago when the when the Braves swept the Cardinals in the uh, <laughs> regular series a couple weeks ago. That's right, and they did. I'll completely admit it. Yeah. It's been a struggle this year for the yeah. St. Louis Cardinals. But uh, uh, Dr. Phil is a huge Braves fan. I'm a huge Cardinals fan. And so I thought with it being National Day of Prayer, and baseball is, is sort of called the national pastime here in the United States. Yes. Why not combine Baseball them? and apple pie. <laughs> That's right, yes sir. Well, so what we'll do is we'll bring those two together. And okay. we, I've had a team of people come with seven Whoa. baseball questions. Cause you know, when you play a series, unless right. it's That's opening seven. round, it's usually about right. three or five three, games. But when you get five. to that World Series or for the Cardinals and Braves, yeah. a national championship series, yeah. it'd be a seven game seven series. Games. So we got seven baseball questions. Oh. So, so Phil, yeah. So if you're up to it, we're Let's gonna do, do seven baseball Let's questions. We'll, we'll we'll walk through the kids a little bit more. But basically, Let's what I'm saying it. is, thank you for sharing all that with us. And if you don't mind sticking around, sure, I will. we'd like to play a little game of trivia. Oh, with absolutely. You. All I've right. Learned, I've learned to lose gracefully. All right. I have two. <laughs> I have two. I haven't done very well in these videos or these competitions. So, yeah. but uh, kids, stick around. Thank you again for getting to take this time to meet Dr. Phil. Hey, if you see him at church. Give him a big hello, a high five, yes, or, or a big handshake, and, and tell fist him, yeah, bump. fist bump, and tell him all the great things that you uh, got to learn about him and his family. Yeah. So stick around, we'll be right back for some baseball trivia. Ooh. Ooh. All right, welcome back. We've got our hats on. Ooh. We are ready. ready. To, that's right. Yeah. Were, you, were you a left handed hitter? I was. Throw, I throw right handed, bat left handed. You know what? My son Jake does the same really? thing we found out. He's yeah. a right handed thrower, but he likes to bat left handed. Yeah. He tore one up down the first baseline the yeah, other I day. Loved, I was so proud of him. Yes. Yeah. I, my goal was I, the, the first baseman, it didn't matter how close he was to the first baseline. Yes. My goal was to hit it right past him. That's awesome. I yes. love it. Yeah, I, yes. batted, I batted right handed most of the time, but I did hit left a couple times. Yeah. I was a switch hitter and, and basically when I was playing baseball too, I'd be used on my left hand to sometimes do a drag bunt yeah. to get that bunt down the third baseline oh, and get yeah. to first. But yeah. I was I was mainly right hand hitter and speaking of the Cardinals, I always wanted to play shortstop, be yeah. number one and play for be the Cardinals Ozzie. just like Ozzie Smith. Like Ozzie I, Smith. I wanted to be the wizard. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't okay. do the back flip and the cartwheel as I ran out. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So anyways. But Greg Maddox was a big fan of yours, right? Greg, Greg Maddox, man, Mad Dog. That's right. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. All I right, love Mad so, Dog. So, so your your trivia name today is Mad Dog. Okay. And mine's the Wizard. Okay. All right. Mad Dog All and right. Wizard. All right, yes. kids, families, right. cheer on. We got the Mad Dog versus the Wizard. All yeah. right. Okay, kids, y'all ready? If you think you know the answer, parents, help out the kids. Tune in, see if y'all can beat us to get this right. But basically, we're gonna do Phil. We're gonna put our hand on the Bible. Okay. All right. And then All if right. you didn't know the answer, you gotta grab the baseball. Okay. So first one right. grab the baseball can answer the question. Okay. All right. Obviously, Good. if you don't get it right, the person can steal it. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll That's the seven. We'll get it. All right. Number are you, one. Are you yes, ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm pumped. All right. Let's get it. I'm pumped okay. too. All right. All right. All right, here we go. First question. In a farewell speech at Yankee Stadium in 1939, who considered himself to be the unluckiest man? Lou Gary. Man. man. <laughs> of the face of the earth. Luke Gehrig. That is correct. Uh, good job, good job. I started dreaming today, my brain. Today, 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 I, 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 <laughs> consider, consider, consider. The parents my. might know that, but the kids don't know that at <laughs> they all. They don't have a clue. I actually use that speech sometimes yeah. for some of my theater classes to do a monologue. Yeah. That was a great speech. Kids, yes, if you haven't was. seen it, Go back and watch You it. need to go back and watch that. That's Google it. Google it. Yes, yes, that's right. All right, good job, Phil. Okay, here, I'm you're up, up. You're up one. There you <laughs> you're go. up one nothing right All now. Right. All right. Well, you won game one. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, question number two. With Randy Johnson on the mound, what accident occurred during a March 2001 exhibition Ooh. game that might have ruffled animal Ooh. lovers' feathers? This is probably, I think, only happened one time in baseball. Right. A bird flew right across in between the pitcher and the batter, and just happened to be at the same time, the yes. ball hit the bird yeah. and it disintegrated. Just yes. feathers went everywhere. Yes. So the answer is a bird flew past the ball as he yeah. threw it. That is correct. Yes. Background on that, I was a Cardinals fan, but back in the day when the like Seattle Randy Mariners, Johnson. Randy Johnson, King yeah. Griffey Jr., yes. I enjoyed watching those Mariners play. He could bring some heat. He could, yes, yes. sir. Yep. yep. But, Poor um, bird. Poor bird. Poor bird. I mean, you can Google that one, but kids, yes. just be careful there. Just be careful. You're the only lover. one that was upset that day was PETA. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. That is absolutely true. All right. Okay. okay. I got game two. 1-1. Right. Yes. yes, sir. All, All right. right. 
All right, here we go. Question number three. Which country has the largest pro baseball league outside the United States? Oh, uh, Puerto Rico. That is not correct. That's not mm. correct. Can I hear the question again? Which country has the largest pro baseball league outside the U.S.? Japan. That is correct. Oh, oh Japan. Wow. man. Okay. And the only reason I went with that because I think they won the yeah. uh, baseball class. Yeah, they did. They beat, the, they beat the United they States. They beat the team. United States. Yeah. Come on, USA. All right, two to one. <laughs> All right, two to one. All, All right. right. I'm graceful about it. He is. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate <laughs> it. Hey, but good, good guess though. Good guess. Yeah, I was thinking Puerto Rico, even Cuba. You know, <laughs> well, there's a lot of uh, central. There is. And yes. You know, uh, players. They and, do. So that's they what do. I was. Trying I understand. To yeah. I, I honestly, I'm glad you went first because I probably would just said Toronto. Because <laughs> I was just thinking <laughs> baseball team outside of the U.S. So yeah. thank you for going yeah. first. So. Well, you could have said Mississippi because we really don't consider Mississippi. <laughs> that's that's right. Yeah. And I could have gone with Montreal, but we don't have the Montreal Expos. No, anymore. we don't. No, no. no. That was a long so time where did ago. they move to? Was it the, it's not the Tampa, is it the Tampa Bay Rays? No. no. Our nation's capital. Oh, the Washington Nationals. They went, yes. they went back to Washington. Yeah. There used to be a team in Washington called the Senators. That's right. And they left. And then uh, Montreal, and then they moved to Washington. That's it. Learning some history about some yep. baseball, yep. boys and girls. Do I get any points for that? You, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll say that third point went into extra innings. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes. I got that one. Okay, so All right. we're two to one. Mad I'm, Dog I'm got buying. Mad Dog's got Mad one. Ball. Wizards got Come two. Come on, you got to cheer for Come Mad on, Dog cheer them on, cheer them yeah. on. I know there's a lot of Braves right. fans out there. Oh, you know it. You, <laughs> you know, know it. it. That's yes. right. All right, we're ready. Question game four. Game four. Game four. Here four. we go. How many World Series championships did Babe Ruth win during his 15 years with the New York Yankees? A bunch. Okay, he played 15. I'm going to go with five. That is not correct. Uh, I'll say seven. That is also not correct. Okay. So, so I guess we'll go with who's the closest. So the answer... Watch it be six. <laughs> the answer is four. Four. So oh, you win. Oh, man. We'll give it to you. All right. The wizard. Okay. The wizard. is pulling three to away. One. You're but pulling hey, away. There's been teams that have come back I down know. three to one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Even going to the... Fit, you know the home, the that's home right. fit. You that's know, right. And still come back. That's yeah. right. That's right. Absolutely. But the way the season's going right now, I'd imagine the Braves would be the home team in this series. Could be. So yeah. if it's the last three, nope. I forget how they do it. They do two, three, two, maybe. They nowadays. change it sometimes. Yeah. They yeah. do two, three. We're talking two. about important stuff here, kids. That you yeah. got to learn growing up here. Right. This is important right. stuff. Yes, it, it is. All right, three to one. All right, here we go. Game five. In the movie A League of Their Own, Ooh. what was the name of the baseball team coached by Tom Hanks? <laughs> I remember their name. Oh, man. Again, looking for the name of the baseball team that was coached by Tom Hanks in the movie A League of Their Own. Rockford was a part of it, maybe? Is that the town they're from? Hmm. <laughs> I know it's the name though that, that like just St. Louis Cardinals, but I feel like it's Rockford something, but I can't I cannot remember the, the animal, the mascot, whatever it is. So it is Rockford. Yeah. I gave you half of it, Phil. <laughs> I have I have no idea what what it would be. Because I don't even think I ever watched the movie. Gotcha. I'm a movie guy, so I've yeah. I've seen lots of movies. Yeah. What is it? The Rockford Peaches. 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 Man, Braves. Atlanta. Yeah, Man, why we, didn't I get that? Well, why we'll have to I give just... it to you, though. No, no. Yeah, come on, no, come on. Yeah, yeah, no. it's an Atlanta thing. Let's keep this rolling. Wow, thank It's you. an Atlanta thing. Hey, I'm, I'm graceful, to too. I'm graceful, okay. too. I will receive yes, it. Thank you. Never thank deny you. a blessing. That's right. Hey, okay. it's, it's like that series where it's an infield fly rule when the Braves and Cardinals were playing each other many years ago and they didn't call it. Right. You remember that one, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving it back to okay, you. Okay, good. I'm giving it back to you. Now. I appreciate it. All that. right. Thank all right. Three, three to two. Three to two. Here we go. All right. Who became the first and so far the only non-U.S. based team to win the World Series in 1992? I think it's the one I just said earlier. Yes, the Toronto Blue Jays. Yes, that is yes. correct. All right. Yes. Well, you got it. I think I got it. Four to two, the Wizard over the Mad. Let's let's listen to number seven. Yeah, let's, let's do, number do seven. that. So this is an interesting question right here. So after signing for the Chicago White Sox in 1994, 
Basketball legend Michael Jordan mainly oh, played go ahead, go ahead. for which double A affiliate in his short lived baseball career? The Birmingham Barons. The Birmingham Barons. Yes. That's right. Yes. Did you go yes. see him play, Dr. Phil? I did. Yeah, uh, well, I think I went, one time. We went and saw him play yeah. as well. I think it was one time also. If he would have played at Regions down here in downtown Birmingham, I would have been many times. That's right. You yeah, had a yeah. sold out park. crowd there. It's everybody. a good park. It is a park. If you haven't been by Regents Park, go and check that out. Oh, yeah. It is a great park. Great out venue there. for watching a game. That is. And uh, that was a good documentary, too, of, that they did for him when yes. he played for the Barons and they kind of followed him around and yeah. all that sort of stuff. It yeah. was a good little documentary because he chose to ride the bus with him. Right. He could have yeah. rode in his car yeah. and everything he did, but he yeah. chose to ride the bus yeah. with the team and everything. Right. That was. I really respected him for that because he, he's a phenomenal basketball player. Yes, yes, sir. But he wasn't a very good baseball no, player. No, <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. He was trying. Yeah, he, he, was. he wasn't doing it for show. No, he, was uh -huh. actually he just trying. loved the game. He did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, well, Phil, we love you, brother. Hey, man, I've enjoyed it. Yes, sir. I have. And and I love that we have a love for the game of sure. baseball. And you come by my office and rub it in my face. I know. Anytime about the Braves. Gracefully. Sweeping. That's right. Gracefully. That's yes. right. Well, listen, kids, families, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking this opportunity to meet Dr. Phil again. If you see him at church, give him a fist bump, give him a wave, or give him a chomp, right? There you go. Give him a chomp. when he says. <laughs> Cardinals, we don't do much. They used to wave the towel back in the day yeah. and everything, or we just do that. There's really not much Nothing. the Cardinals do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't get much out of a Cardinal. It's just a right. cute little red bird. Right. So. Right. Squeak a little bit. They do, they do. Yeah. But y'all got a pretty intimidating chomp and yeah, chant out there. Sure. Hey, yeah. when you ever go to a Braves game, you, you kind of want as a fan of another team to kind of get in there that's and do right. it too. That's right. Your arm better be nice and loose. That's right. You're going to do this. That's right. Yeah. Well, listen, Phil, thank you again, yeah, brother. I enjoyed it, Ron. Yes, sir. Thank Not you. only look forward to continuing to do ministry sure. with you, but look forward to National Day of Prayer yes. and coming yes. together as Definitely. a nation and not only praying for this community, but also the nationwide. Yes. All of us together in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Dr. Phil. All right, Thank you for it. allowing us to meet with you, brother. Yeah, thank thank you. you for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you guys next time on our YouTube channel. And make sure you say hey to Dr. Phil. Right. Give him a shout out when you see him at church. Love you guys. Y'all enjoy National Day of Prayer, okay?